Hello everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. Today it's time for Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. So if you want to know everything about this IIT, about its amazing campus, current placements, cutoff, and a lot more, then stay with me till the end. Established in the year 1959, the Indian Institute of Technology Madras is one of the foremost institutes of national importance in technical education and applied research. The IIT ranks number one in the engineering category for eight consecutive years and number one in the overall category for five years in a row by NIRF 2023. Let's have a look at IIT Madras campus and campus life. Located at a distance of 10 km from Chennai Airport and 12 km from Chennai Central Railway Station, the campus is spread over an area of 617 acres. The infrastructure is designed in such a way giving a rich and valuable exposure to of multiple avenues related to academic, curricular and co-curricular activities. As the campus includes Academic complex, which is equipped with all the latest technology classroom facilities. Open air theatre, where the English, Hindi, Tamil and other regional languages movies are screened on the weekends by the film club. The central lecture theatre. 100 plus laboratories. There is this e-cell or entrepreneurship cell, which is like a window to the entrepreneurial world for the people associated with IIT Bombay. The cell caters the audience from startup enthusiasts to hardcore entrepreneurs with a plethora of year-long events, along with the central library and computer center. So much of the campus is a protected forest carved out of the Gwindi National Park, which is a home to many animals and a heaven for birds watcher with more than 100 species of birds. So along with academics, the campus also provides complete privilege to the students for pursuing their hobbies and interests, whether it is in arts, aesthetics or sports. Talking about the courses offered here. So, IIT Madras offers a wide range of BTEC, MTEC, and dual degree programs in various disciplines. And each program is designed in such a way to achieve a balance between specialization and depth of knowledge exploration. And to be able to be admitted in one of these BTEC programs or the dual degree programs here at IIT Madras, the students first of all need to pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry, mathematics as their major subjects with 75% marks if they are general category students and 65 is the required percentage for ST, SC or PWD candidates. And secondly, clear JE advance to be eligible for the admission process. And to be eligible for JE advance, the students first need to appear for J main paper 1. Whereas the foreign nationals need not to appear for J main, they can directly register themselves for J advance. Further, the students register themselves for JOSA counselling and based on the counselling, they are assigned a seat. So the selected students need to verify all their documents and pay the required fees. For foreign students, they get selected through DASA and ICCR schemes. Talking about the fee structure now. See, the fee for all the BTEC courses is more or less the same as the annual fee is 1,11,350 including your hostel, mess and tuition fee. Here is the consolidated fee structure for all the different categories. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. So, along with this, fee waivers are offered to various economically weaker section students like 100% tuition fee waiver to ST, SC or PWD candidates for remission of the tuition fee to all the general and OBC candidates with family income less than 1 lakh per annum and two-third of the remission of tuition fee to all the general and OBC candidates whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. In addition to this, IIT Metros also offers more than 25 scholarships to the students based on their financial situation and the academic performances. Here is a list of all those scholarships. You can further visit the official website and find out the eligibility criteria to apply in one of these scholarships you are eligible for. Talking about placements at IIT Metros. Completing BTEC from IIT Madras allows the students to follow their heart. Now, whether it lies in going for higher studies or starting their own venture and experience entrepreneurship or going for competitive exams like civil services. 
As far as packages and return on investments are concerned, here is the placement statistics 2023-24. Around 1612 IIT Madras students received placements offer from 480 companies. The highest placements were achieved in the various sectors. First of all, core sector, which was 27.6%, consulting sector, that was 14.3%, followed by the software sector, that was 13.2%. The highest package offer accepted by BTEC students was 1.31 CPA, whereas the median package offered in the phase 1 of placement remained 19 LPA. As per the media reports, more than 55% of IIT Metro students have been placed so far. Further, IIT Madras Placements Final Report 2023 has also been released along with the IIT Madras Internship Placement Reports. On the day one of the internship placement drive, IIT Madras reported 19 international internship offers from seven firms, overall 17% increase in obtained internships and 51% increase in companies that visited the IIT Madras internships. Here are some of the top recruiters who visited the campus in the year 2023. So now here is the big question. What is the J Advanced Rank Cutoff? So here is the Rank Cutoff 2023. J Advanced Rank Cutoff for Computer Science and Engineering Branch for Gender Neutral closed at 148 rank. And for female candidates, it closed at 479. For the Aerospace Engineering Branch, the rank closed for Gender Neutral Category at 3,237 and for Female Only Category closed at 5,990. Talking about the Electrical Engineering Branch, the rank for Gender Neutral Category closed at 964 and for Female Only, the same closed at 2,158. For the Chemical Engineering Branch, for Gender Neutral closed at 4,439 and for Female Only Candidates, the same closed at 6,597. Here is a rank cutoff for all the other branches of engineering. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For category wise rank cutoff, do visit the link given in the description. Talking about the fest now, here are two of the many events that are conducted here at IIT Metros annually. Shastra. This completely student run techno managerial festival stretches over four days and nights in the first week of January. And the second is Sarang one of the largest cultural festivals in India. Sarang attracts over 50,000 people from around the country, which is held every year in the month of January. Sarang is commonly acknowledged as the mother of all the cultural festivals. Further, to know the legacy and the grandeur of IIT Madras, here is the list of some of the notable alumni. So, this is our wish and blessings to all of you that each one of you should manage to discover your true passion and interest and eventually pursue the same by getting into the right environment and institution. As this was all from me today. Now you let me know which other college do you want me to review next. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.